the baby refuses to brush his teeth, have a bath, put on pajamas, or go to bed. Like, are you teaching these people to fucking be Indian? I mean, uh, fuck my fault. Yo, boys, today we're back again with a Coco Melon video by Sunny V2, I think. All right. My son is almost two, and I've been letting him watch Coco Melon. But now I had to get him speech therapy so I can get him to talk. Oh, I think I know what he's finna talk about. I'm gonna let him cook. There are hundreds and hundreds of anecdotes in which parents mention the exact same problem. The Coco Melon show is so insanely addictive, it's being compared to nicotine and causing developmental issues amongst the kids who can't what stop watching. What the hell? Children's TV expert Jerrica Sands calls it the most damaging show a child can watch, explaining the sneaky Is it really that bad? The show addictive. First Yo, why are they trying to make our kids, you feel me? Uh uh, regards. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Is this the reason why my little nephew can barely speak? I, I just thought he was, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Bro, this COVID new generation of babies, they're finna be like some of the dumbest pe uh, kids we have, bro. Firstly, there's the colors. Take, for example, the wheels on the bus. The three main colors, blue, green, and yellow, are all at maximum saturation, meaning they cannot be made any brighter, no matter how hard you try. Extreme saturation is normally used for alerts and notifications, as it's exciting, dynamic, and attracts attention, which is why it's also used in slot machines. And plus, when you're high or drunk, these colors stick out a lot more and make it way more attractive. Coco Melon puts these colors in perfect contrast, making them appear even more vibrant, which is different to, for example, Bluey, in which the colors instead blend together. Coco Melon's also different because it's highly repetitive. There's a reason they have 38 videos with over a billion views. Oh my god, yo, what? Child's brain is wired to learn through repetition, so it feels right to them to watch the same thing over over and over again. Coco Melon abuses this in almost every video. For example, in the Yes Yes Playground song, they pick a word to repeat three times in every sentence, pairing it with a subtly repeating background lullaby, keeping children hooked. Literally no show or movie puts Bro, my what? son into a deep trance the way Coco Melon does. The second it's on the TV, he turns into a toddler zombie who doesn't see or hear anything else that's going on in the room. Bro, what happened to our great shows of the past mickey mouse clubhouse thomas the train spongebob now i ain't gonna lie yo my mom tried to keep me away from spongebob she rain rot for me what happened to the great shows in the past bro wild Crash. they used to teach us stuff this is only exacerbated by coco melon subtitles which have also been a heavy point of criticism the letters are not little einsteins and barely read them fast enough. It's simply another interesting element to capture your little one's attention. Coco Melon explains in every description, our goal is to help make learning a fun and enjoyable experience for kids, giving you the peace of mind that your children are receiving quality educational content. But people have argued that they're teaching exactly what children shouldn't do. For example, in what the No No about? Bedtime song, the baby refuses to brush his teeth, have a bath, put on pajamas, or go to bed. Like, are you teaching these people to fucking be Indian? I mean, uh, fuck my fault. The education is that he eventually agrees to do so, yet a TikTok user was critical, stating, anytime I'd ask my son to do a simple task, he'd say no, no, no. He's sitting there watching- Oh yeah, my fault, my fault, Twitch, my fault, Twitch. Yay, Indian. We support Indians over here, even if they- Yeah, yeah Indian. Yeah, okay, look, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I had to stop myself. In Coco Melon, which taught him no, 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 and to say no to me. That is true. These little kids don't know no better. Is that also why my little nephew's so bad? He be over, over here talking about, no, I don't want to do shit until you feel me. <laughs> I bring out that strap ski, you feel me, that little, that little belt. Then he start doing what he's told. But you feel me, before, like, he always be saying just no and shit. Why are they teaching kids this? Why? Like, no, they better, they, they, they better do what I need. On the topic of education, Jerrica Sand stated, These people don't give a shit about our children. They care about money. That's it. Your child's cognitive development in direct exchange for their wealth. And there's pretty good evidence supporting this. A New York Times journalist visited Coco Melon's studio, discovering their number one focus is keeping children hooked. Coco Melon's data and analytics team sifts constantly through YouTube numbers to determine exactly what resonates. Should a girl wear black jeans or blue 
blue jeans? Should the music be louder or softer? Should the bus be yellow or red? Yellow is the answer, as they use a darker method to ensure that they're correct. I was in a class, the teacher put on the cocomelon shit. They instantly started staring at the screen and didn't move. I waved my hands in front of their face. They didn't blink. So I've been... So I've seen firsthand this i've seen this shit play out firsthand that's crazy and that's scary that is scary cocomelon has a dedicated destructotron room in which once a month children are brought here one at a time and shown a handful of episodes to figure out exactly which parts of the shows are engaging and which are tuned out see my thing with this show though if it was teaching good morals with this repetitive shit it could actually do better for the society but you shouldn't be teaching a child to say no at all. That's how you feel me. You, you get abuse, whippings. You feel me? That little, you feel me? That's how you get that, bro. You shouldn't be teaching a child to say no, especially when the parents is just looking out for what's best. Next to the TV playing Cocomelon, there's a second screen which plays a continuous- Unless to Diddy on me, on me. Yo, yo, yo. They should make an episode about that. Say no to the dealers. <laughs> some shit. <laughs> All me parents will riot. Loop of banal real world scenes. A guy pouring a cup of coffee. Someone getting a haircut. Each lasting about 20 seconds. That saturation Whenever is a crazy Whenever a youngster looks away from the Moonbug show to glimpse the Distractatron. Yo, and Trey, walk him down. Bro, we're not finna check out your YouTube channel, bro. I, I respect you. I love you, you feel me? Like, I, ain't, I don't want no smoke. You feel me? Uh, you feel me? I'm... Yo. We love hood niggas over here. Yay hood niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay young niggas, man. We love y'all over here, man. But like, bro, you feel me? Stop with all the spamming, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm trying to stream. Note is jotted down. We can see what they're looking at and the exact moment when they got distracted. Therefore, education- There's a song called Drake, Drake, Go Away? <laughs> yeah. Clearly isn't the primary goal. Keeping kids' attention is, and this is proven by Coco Melon's most addictive element, rapid camera cutting. It's crazy how many times the frame changes on Coco Melon. It's the same mm. type of addicting behavior mm. that we experience mm. on a TikTok mm. binge. Mm. It's the quick change mm. of frame mm. that releases That's that crazy. dopamine and makes the videos addicting to watch count the seconds between a change of frame well tiktok of the circus brain did exactly this he firstly counts the changes on my little pony concluding there's about six seconds man the he then i know i'm yapping right now but my little pony bro that used to be my show bro I love My Little Pony, bro. I don't care what y'all say. I, look, that's the gayest thing I ever did, bro, bro, bro. I used to watch My Little Pony so much. I used to rewatch the seasons, all that. Rainbow, Rainbow Dash was my favorite character. I'm not finna lie. On oh, me. Shit, the good old times. Pairs it to Cocomelon. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One. In her video, The Nightmare That Is Cocomelon, Cervantix draws a similar conclusion. She found that 96% of the shots in Baby Shark were shorter than two seconds. She then compares mm. four different animated shows, again finding Cocomelon has the shorter shots. The longest shot on a Cocomelon video was six seconds. The longest shot on Arcane was eight seconds. The longest wow. shot on Bluey was 27 seconds. And wow. the longest shot on Encanto was 18 seconds. Which when combined with every other element, Arcane is fire terrifying though. Statistics. That's crazy. Dr. Kristen Summer explained that when showing an infant normal video content, they'll focus on the screen just 11% of the time. However, when the video is instead switched to Cocomelon, their screen engagement skyrockets to a whopping 74%. This therefore produces stories such as this. I used to volunteer for a preschool and they had song time. A Cocomelon video came on and all of the tots stopped what they were doing, put down their cheeks crackers and remain fixated on the screen for the duration of the video it was honestly kind of terrifying bro that would be terrifying bro imagine like you see you like okay let me stop yapping i gotta stop yapping i gotta stop yapping YouTube be hating me for yapping. YouTuber Saber Spark shared made a reaction where Subway anecdote. Surfers is. He Come asked on, to bro. watch a Disney movie with his two younger cousins, who both completely refused and instead spent all day glued to an iPad playing the addictive show. In Coco Melon made my kid a That's zombie. That's scary, bro. Talks about her son. 
He would be in a daze while watching it. You could be waving your hand right in front of his face and he wouldn't move. It was almost scary. That's this was scary. also discovered by Sarah Mills 98, who explained when the Coco Melon addiction is so real that my one year old can navigate the TV to turn it on by himself. However, nothing shows the addiction better than the Coco Melon TikTok trend. Parents will play the show. Bro, that kid came from all the way over here. Nothing shows the addiction. To come watch Coco Melon. That's crazy. Addiction better than the Coco Melon. Bro, the, once I know, them niggas are making bank. TikTok trend. Yo, those Coco Melon producers, they're, count, they're, they're swimming in cash. The parents will play the show's intro loudly and video their kids sprinting toward the television. That's so crazy. Where you I'm gonna do that to my little uh, cousin. I'm gonna record it and do it to my little cousin. I want to experiment. You can witness their mood change instantly. The New York Times journalist found something similar. The kid in the Destructotron had shown up in the midst of a tantrum, which ended the second he heard the Coco Melon theme song. It was no surprise to Wheeler, the head of research. 99% of kids, he said, if they're having issues when they get here, once that Coco Melon song comes on, they're like, ah, life is okay. All is good with the world. That's insane. How much mind control Coco Melon has, bro? That's cra I don't think y'all understand how crazy that is. Like that's insane. Oh me, is it set? Yo, Coco Melon Loki has like a similar effect that like Playboy Cardi has on the fucking vamps and shit. And the same thing with Taylor Swift, with uh her fans, Swifties, whatever. That's crazy. It's pure addiction, bro. There has to be some science behind that, bro. Order. Obviously, there's a reason for this. Coco Melon is so hyper stimulating that it actually acts as a drug, and what happens when you take the drug away? Young children experiencing symptoms of addiction and withdrawal, obviously leaving them completely dysregulated. Yo, what is this background music? I'm gonna use this for my videos, bro. That shit's so fire. Related. TikTok user ThePoff1 filmed what happens when you take the show away, explaining he'll be inconsolable for at least 10 to 15 minutes after. That's crazy, bro. Duh. Adding in the description, Coco Melon Meltdown is legit. Once you have a taste of the cocoa, it's hard to break the addiction, which this Reddit user had experienced even Yeah, my son never watching that bullshit. Even worse. My I husband have a and kid. I have been worried about our child. I can slowly see how she'd throw violent tantrums at home and in church whenever she'd get bored and would want to watch the show. Her behavior changes the moment- Don't forget to call my auntie, bro. She, she cannot allow my cousin to be watching that shit. Is that bad? Bro, there's no way that's going to, like, you feel me, benefit, benefit them in the long run, bro. Because you're, they're, you're basically programming these kids' minds to be addicts at a young age. There's no way that's going to be beneficial for them in the long run, bro. And she watches the show, and she will not even My son meal. watching Thomas the Train and Friends, bro. Even watch My Little Pony, Barbies, Bratz, all that, nah. Nah, I don't want my son to be a cheerleader. I want him to be a football player. I'm going to just get him lots of uh, sports and shit, man. I ain't going to lie. If she wouldn't watch it. After these tantrums end, kids can experience a general discomfort in the speed of everyday life. The more they watch the show, the more their brain begins to expect this intense level of stimulation. Basically, Coco Melon overstimulates their brains so much that everything else just seems slow and boring in comparison. However, the potential consequences get much worse than this. As mentioned at the start, it was the cause of a child's speaking problems. With a notable reply reading, same thing happened with my daughter too. She's four but can't speak properly. Bro, my little nephew, like no joke, he's four. He's going to turn five this month if he hasn't already turned five. He can't speak properly, bro. Like, it's the scariest thing ever. He literally can't speak properly. Like, he can't form a full sentence. I remember when I was four, I was speaking. F full sentences and shit. He can't form a full sentence. It's scary. And at first, I thought, like, I ain't gonna lie. He was like, you feel me in the spectrum? But, like, bro, now watching this, it's pro he's probably not the, uh, the only one. That's crazy. Bro, what? Let's let's tap in though. She knows the words, but she does not like to frame the sentence or speech. Yeah, same thing with my uh, little nephew. He he can speak, 
but he just doesn't like speaking in sentences. She has been watching these cocomelons or such other stuffs for two or three years. Hope we're not too late. Over on Reddit, a speech language pathologist explained, screen time in general is linked with speech delays for a variety of reasons, but cocomelon is excessively bad. Firstly, unlike other TV shows or movies, it doesn't have a story. It's just very short clips with poorly written songs. The kids aren't able to follow the plot, learn vocabulary, and see the resolution of a conflict supported by infant specialist Meg Fora. Bro. And the problem with fast paced TV programs is they're trying to make our kids slaves, bro. Like dumb slaves. That's bad, bro. Did we find that little one's language development is slower? On the Agents of Speech YouTube channel, this is again confirmed. The main problem with watching videos on the internet is that they don't know how to use the language that they learn. But he adds that four to five hours of screen time per day can make a toddler completely nonverbal. Four to five hours is obviously a lot of time. Yo, okay, yo. My, my child can't be around iPads, bro. That's scary. But in Coco Melon Made My Kid a Zombie, researchers discovered that five-year-olds who watch more than two hours of TV a day tended to have lower attention spans and were 7.7 .7 times more likely to show symptoms of ADHD. These Bro. screen times might be even lower for Coco Melon specifically because as explained by Jerrica Sands, not all screen time is created equal. A child who just watched 30 minutes of Coco Melon and a child who just watched 30 minutes of Trash Truck will look like a very, very different child. Thankfully, here lies a simple solution. Sierra Renee explained my two-year-old is speech delayed and addicted to Coco Melon. Switched to Miss Rachel two days ago and he's already saying more words and hasn't had any tantrums. Kim.it mm. shared an almost identical anecdote. My eight-month-old was obsessed with Coco Melon and having bad tantrums so I cancelled Coco Melon and only let her watch Miss Rachel and she said her first word within the first three days of watching. Clearly parents are able to simply change the channel but not- This is great promo for Miss Rachel before leaving Cocomelon a massive amount of dislikes. They've therefore earned the title, the absurdly popular kid show parents hate, and Cocomelon has actually responded to the criticism. That explain our shows are not intended to replace outdoor playtime or playdates. They have a place in children's entertainment time, and as with food, exercise, etc., it comes down to each parent to PRS find the right and appropriate statement, bro. They know what they're doing. Children. They're just our trying to get money. Our responsibility is ensuring that the quality of the content that we produce is high and beneficial. For the They're literally preying on kids. That's so wicked. Skills. It is worth adding that our social media communities are filled with stories of parents who experience firsthand how Moonbug content helps their children. Cocomelon does have a crazy amount of supporters, but it's obvious that some of them are simply ignoring the downsides. My baby learned the alphabet and numbers from Cocomelon. She may not speak a complete sentence, but she expresses her wants through phrases. That's not good, bro. That's not good. That's not good. I'd rather my baby be able, to, be able to speak in a complete sentence than know the numbers in alphabets. That's what preschool teachers are for, to teach them this stuff. Not a show, bro. And if it is a show, I want them to be teaching them in proper sentences. It's scary as fuck. I know I've mentioned my little nephew so many times. It's there scary as fuck that that nigga is four years old. He can't speak in full sentences. It's scary. Again, I thought he was, you feel me? Eh, he's not. He's just a COVID child who's been watching Coco Melon and been on the screen too much. It's scary. I might actually send this video to my auntie. I'm not going to lie. Because it's scary, bro. That's scary. But is a Coco Melon's responsibility to ensure that babies are talking? Well, no. People love blaming cartoons and games for raising children, and not the shitty parents that don't step in to stop them from watching so much. Coco Melon is actually a really sad symbol of parents giving their children tablets instead of actually parenting and interacting with them. Ultimately, parents are the people who choose how much their child consumes. Very important video. Very important video. Very important video. I'm not going to lie. A lot of parents got to watch this, bro. That's a very important video.